Hi, I'm CC with CC Variety TV. We're at the premiere at Arclight Theater for The Air I Breathe. Awesome film. You gotta see it. You gotta see these interviews. Stick with us. And you know what? Jamie Harrison, if you're listening, we love you. We're gonna miss you and we wouldn't be where we are without you. Thanks. How are you? I'm Cece with Cece Variety TV. How are you? We're so happy to see you out here. Thank you. Now, you didn't bring your family with you? They're inside. Oh, well, that's awesome. All right. So now you're always playing a tough guy. Always, you no. Know what? Sometimes. That's the most, but uh, what is your favorite type of role? I don't have a favorite type of role. I read a little thing on your quote. You said that uh, you'd always, have, if there's no work at all, you'll still be a cop. You'll play a cop. I'll always play a cop if it's compelling <laughs> enough of a cop to play, yes. Now your children, will they, ever, will they follow in your footsteps? My oldest daughter and my middle daughter are both actresses. Was there anything particular about this role that you really liked that appealed to you? Well, I think it was a very complex character. He's very, uh, you know, he was a hard guy to get to know. He was very unredeemable and, and that's, you know, there was a um, strong curiosity on my part to find out why this guy is the way he is. Your nickname is Link in Polly Shore movies. Why? Uh, is in Missing Link. <laughs> is in Missing Link. Very clever. Because the, the premise of the film is based on some Asian philosophy that inspired the writers, that humanity is the, the four cornerstones are pleasure, sorrow, happiness, and love. Um, the creation of the script created characters who have none of those attributes, and the journey that they take in the world of this rather nefarious uh, universe that they've created is... Uh, to take a journey of discovery towards redemption for that. To see this film, I think, can give some sort of philosophical backbone to what on the surface may appear to be a straight ahead action picture. But because Jiho is, in my view, as talented as he is, he was wise to borrow from the best of what inspired him from everything from Hong Kong pictures, The, the, uh, the Wizard of Oz, um, the air that I breathe was uh, loosely taken from what's it, Elton John's song, All I Need Is. Um, so he's a very creative filmmaker. The character I've been asked to play is something that really has never come across my radar before and, and really got my attention. With the air I breathe, in the end, I think it's um, a film that's about destiny and it, it asks us to have those four cornerstones of sorrow, of happiness, of love, and of pleasure. To have a truly complete life. Hi, I am CC, CC Variety TV. Oh, now, you're the director of this movie. This had to be a very exciting movie. And was it a little bit dark, or what was the vibe for this movie for you? Uh, the vibe for it, um, it well, it's 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 based um, well, it's it's very inspired by film noir. You know, um, I I I went to Wesleyan University and Janine Basinger's class there of film noir. We study everyone from Otto Preminger to, to Nick Ray and and Sam Fuller and 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 that's that's really been the basis of my aesthetic and the way you know what what I'm passionate about. What really inspires you to really walk get in there and just you know take the bull by the horns, so to speak? Um, you know, I, I don't know. That's a good question. It's just, I, I think that every filmmaker, you know, is, you know, first of all, just to make a film is a, is a blessing in and of itself, but it's just something that you got to be crazy to do. You know, you just got to be insane. So, yeah, I mean, I can't tell you. I mean, it, was a, it was a six year journey from, from writing to casting to get financing and, and, and to shooting. Um, and, you know, many times, you know, I was scrubbing floors for a living, you know, trying to, trying to make it all come together. And, and uh, you know, it's just a, it's just a conviction that you have a story to tell and you hope that um, it'll reach other people as well. So now when it was in the can, you watched it, did you kick your heels up, kind of relax and say, you know what, I'm happy with this, this is awesome. Oh, that, that never happens, you know, <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> Quickly, you have another project in line or anything coming up? Uh, yeah, no, I'm working on a uh, heist film set in China right now with uh, American actors and I'm also working on an um, adaptation of a Japanese anime.